It would be an understatement to simply say that Barbie beat its box office expectations because the expectations were around anywhere between 85 and 100 million dollars, which was going to be a fantastic opening. Some people that a lot of others thought were crazy were saying maybe as high as 125. Forget all that. Forget all of it. Barbie made 155 million dollars in its opening weekend destroying the expectations and projections and also in the process officially becoming the number one box office opening of the year beating out mario brothers and spider-man across the spiderers and all that kind of stuff now that's not to say that mario uh brothers will fall to barbie as far as being the number one box office film of the year overall when it's all said and done i don't know that as a non-animated film that barbie's gonna have the same kind of legs no pun intended that mario brothers did but i mean you can't Listen, I thought this thing could get close to $100 million. I did not think this thing could get 155. And once again, proving the fact that we, average film fans, have underestimated the power of a nostalgia thing from our childhoods, whether it's Super Mario Brothers that everybody underestimated, and now in this case, Barbie. And this is huge. And also, not only is it just a massive film for something like a Barbie, right? A film that the studios really, really needed right now to have this kind of a big hit. But this is also really, really validating for a movie star like Margot Robbie. Because despite the fact that nobody doubts Margot Robbie's incredible powers as an actress, she's phenomenal, Oscar nominated, she'll get an Oscar at some point in her career. But the reality is a lot of people would point out that she's not really, quote unquote, bankable, if that's a real term that we should use. I mean, and you can kind of get where they're coming from. Take a look at this. When you look at the last number of openings for Margot Robbie movies, Babylon only opened to 3.6 million. Amsterdam, which was not good, uh, only opened to 6.4 million. The Suicide Squad only opened to 26 million. Birds of Prey opened to 33 million. And her biggest opening weekend in recent years out of her last five was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with $41 million. So with a $155 million opening, that nearly quadruples her previous biggest opening of the past five films that she's done. So it's very, very validating for her. But also, if you want to just put this a little bit in perspective, <laughs> at $155 million, that's domestic. OK, remember, whenever you talk about opening weekend, you're always talking about domestic. When you talk about final box office, we're talking global. But when you're talking opening weekend, it's always domestic at one hundred and fifty five million dollars opening weekend. <laughs> and it's opening weekend. I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about. Barbie has already beat out domestically the total box office runs domestically for a lot of other films. For example, Transformers. It's, it's pretty much equal to what Transformers made in the United States in its entire theatrical run domestically. Barbie, in its opening weekend, made more money on American shores than Fast X did in its entire run. It also beat out like a big Pixar film in Elemental, which only made $137 million domestic in its full domestic run. It Now, Mission Impossible is still in theaters. But Mission Impossible just had its second weekend, and Barbie in its first weekend has already beat out Mission Impossible on domestic shores. And most glaringly, Barbie in its opening weekend <laughs> destroyed the Flash's 107 million. Remember, these numbers are not opening weekend for these other films. This is their total life in American cinemas from the day they opened till now. Can I add one? Please? Yeah. It beat out the worldwide box office of Shazam Fury of the Good God. <laughs> they destroyed just the <laughs> domestic opening weekend of Barbie beat the total worldwide global box office of Shazam 2. Now I don't know if that's more a commentary on the success of Barbie or the absolute failure of Shazam 2. By the way, I'm not bashing on Shazam 2. I really like the film. Yeah, yeah. I like Shazam 2, but it a massive failure at the box office, right? <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely stunning and a part of a massive double header because we're going to talk a little bit later in the day but oppenheimer as well which also shattered the box office expectations for that uh but again when you look at this i mean this is just phenomenal and, and again everybody said this was going to be a big movie i don't think many people including me fully admittedly never would have thought it would pass super mario brothers as the number one box office 
opening of 2023. Now, again, I don't believe that Barbie will go on to pass Super Mario Brothers overall globally. Again, as an animated family film, that one's going to have much better legs. But still, this is a huge win for Greta Gerwig, a three-time Oscar-nominated filmmaker. This is a huge win for Margot Robbie. This is a huge win for Warner Brothers. And my God, Warner Brothers needed a win. <laughs> I mean, they, they needed a win pretty badly. And again, listen, Barbie, I didn't, Oh, head over heels, fall massively in love with Barbie like I did with Oppenheimer. But this is a good movie. Good Canadian kid, Ryan Gosling, is so good in this movie. Margot Robbie is fantastic in this movie. Uh, America uh, Chavez, it's America, wait, it's America Chavez or America Ferreira? Ferreira. Ferreira. America Chavez is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, America Chavez is in Doctor <laughs> Strange. Yeah, totally <laughs> different one. But America Ferreira, it was wonderful. And this is almost, she's not in the marketing a lot. This is almost as much her movie as it is Margot Robbie's. Almost, anyway, the performance of Tats is a very smart movie. Uh, again, it's not going to end up in my top five favorite films of the year, but it's a really good film. And wow, how big can this thing be? I don't know. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. And for me, Rocket Money has been a godsend. I've told you the story before about how I found out that I was still paying a gym membership from when I was still living in Burbank, California two years ago. And just recently, I had completely forgotten that I was subscribed to multiple music services with different apps. Rocket Money identified the ones I wasn't using and helped me cancel my subscriptions super easy. And I'm not alone. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've completely forgotten about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app you use just to watch one show, or that free gaming trial that you never got around to canceling. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you, and for any that you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorize your expenses, so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. Rocketmoney.com slash campia. The question is for you guys. What do you think? What is your reaction to this incredible shattering of the projections for Barbie making $155 million opening weekend, making it this biggest opening for any film in 2023 so far, at least at any rate. And did you have a chance to see the film? Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Did you enjoy it? If you saw it, maybe it underwhelmed you. Maybe you have no interest in seeing the film, whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks a lot for checking out our video. Make sure you look at some of our other videos that we have here on the channel. Like and subscribe. And remember, we do a daily podcast simply called the John Campus Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.